Welcome back to the Stag Raw Podcast. Big Game Record Series. This is the Otago Herd. Now we're with William Smedley, Rainy Flat, Makarora Valley, 1931. It's a 7x6. And again, the length on these things, 46 and 2 by 48. And it's got a 42 and 6 eighths spread. So, I don't know if you can find any better than that. <laughs> Amazing. Spread is 36 and 2. Beams are 5 and 2 by 5. Coronets are 8 and 4 by 8 and 2. Brow times are 15 and 4 each side. Mm. Bays are 12 and 4 by 13. And the trays are 11 and 7 by 11 and 5. Lovely. Outer rolls, 14 and 4 by 13 and 4. Inner rolls, 10 and 4 by 11 and 2. Back tines, 18 by 17 and 2. And again, this outer off the back tine, left side, 5 and 2. The score, it almost doesn't matter, uh, 30, 359 and 3 quarters. Here we have yet another magnificent sweeping style Otago trophy. It too with an extra small outer off on the left antler, being the only irregularity in almost perfect form. <laughs> Poetic. I love it. This great stag was taken in an episode of Sheer Chance, being shot by a man out looking for camp meat without any appreciation of its trophy value and quality. You're joking. Smedley was employed as a roadman on the newly formed Haas Pass Highway and was camped at Rainy Flat enjoying the hospitality of a local, Tom Scott, who resided in a hut there. It was not until one of the local guides offered to purchase the head from him that Smedley's suspicions regarding the quality of the head started to arise. Smedley had set off from Tom Scott's hut on Rainy Flat with the intention of securing some venison, sneaking along the bush edge in heavy rain in an up-valley direction. He had only travelled about 400 metres from the hut when he suddenly walked onto the stag, which was standing feeding a few metres out from the sanctuary of the beech forest. He presented Smedley with a very... Easy shot. Mate, what a ball's up. <laughs> Rainy flat. Wonderful. That's really... That's impressive. Imagine it. Some bloke wants to bite off you. You're like, this was, this just was for the pot, mate. <laughs> this beautiful, massive, long Otago red deer. Unreal. Right, next up we have Harold E. Hodgkinson, Headwaters of the Diggle Burn, 1902. Join us there. This is New Zealand Big Game Records, Volume 6, The Red Deer, Part 2, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. Published by the Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360, Auckland, 1140, New Zealand. Printed by Prolong Press, Limited, China. Um, copyright, 2011, D. Bruce Bamwell, first published 2011, all rights reserved. 